Of the different building models, this is my favorite. This model uses a uh, block of wood. In this case, I've got wheels on it to make it easy to move back and forth to simulate earthquake vibrations. And these are dowel sticks of different lengths with blocks of wood on top. So we've got tall building representation down to short building. And I, I like if there's a group of people, a group of kids, I ask them, uh, which building do you think would move around the most in an earthquake? Which will move the most in an earthquake? And very often they will pick the tall building because this obviously is, is it's moving around, it seems a lot, even by itself right now. But, so then I generate the earthquake by vibrating the ground. Oh my goodness. The, tall, the short building has moved the most. So they, okay, well, now you know what the answer is. You get one more guess. So now a lot of people change their guess and say, well, I think maybe the short one will move the most. So now I make another earthquake. Say, so well, here's another earthquake. Oh, lo and behold, it's the tall one now that's vibrating the most. So at this point, I think it's good to have a question, an issue, for kids to, to think about for a second. Okay, now what's going on? There must be some trick to this. What is he doing differently between the short building moving most and the tall building moving the most? And so then I explain that, well, it actually has to do with the resonant frequency of each of these buildings, which is quite different. The resonant frequency is the frequency that the building wants to move back and forth if you just give it a bump. And you can see the short building moves back and forth very quickly when you just pull it and let it go. The tall building moves very slowly. And these move with intermediate frequencies. So if the ground motion is the same as the resonant period, <coughs> resonant frequency of one of these buildings, the amplitude of the building motion will build larger and larger. So if I move the ground very rapidly back and forth, I'm giving a resonant, resonant frequency near this one. You can see the amplitude there gets very large. And if I go very slowly, Taller building moves most. And you can also go to intermediate frequencies for this one or for the blue one. 